So as well as building new things, you have to, in order to build new things, some things you can make more efficient, that's good, but some things you are left with from legacy and you just have to stop doing. But obviously anything that's using a live service, you can't just stop it. You have to, to um, you know, shut it down in a managed way. So we have, well, we've stopped making microsites. We, we made a sort of a line in the sand, if you like, a few years ago. Um, and there were a few that we were committed to that we finished off, but we stopped more or less three years ago making microsites because it's such a waste of resources. Um, for no obvious additional benefit. So we've been shutting down uh, microsites. We've shut down about 50 microsites in the last year and we shut down about 100 interactives. Now, uh, some of those are quite popular. One of them in particular, the Code of Arms interactive, is one of the most successful things we've ever built. Um, but essentially it's built on something that's unsustainable. It's a technology we don't support. I can't remember what it's in. I think it's flash-based. Uh, it's got a back-end system that was probably running PHP 4 or something like that, so it's probably not secure. Um, and there's nobody in the building that, that we are going to spend time developing that on because it's just such a waste of resource to develop something from the past, basically. So that one we've just closed down, and that, that, that did get quite a lot of comment. I mean, not a lot of comment. It, it got a lot of traffic for a while for, for people still looking for it, mainly because I think it was used from schools. But, but ultimately, it wasn't really necessarily delivering the core of what we're trying to do. Or something. So, so it's quite a hard decision to make. So that one was a, a, a clear shutdown. Um, but you have to stop doing some of these things, otherwise you'd still be driving around in, you know, old penny farthings and things like that. So, um, at the same time, though, with the microsites, what's actually inside the microsites is very valuable. So Art Deco had a horrible, well, it was probably all right at the time. It's probably quite glamorous at the time of the microsite, but some years down the line, it looks like it was built five, six years ago, and it looks old-fashioned basically. So. Um, the only way to do that would be to rebuild it from scratch or you can get the content out and put the content into normal articles and our articles that we put now are effectively units of content that we can deliver through the API. So, so what the content editors did was they extracted the very good content from an Art Deco microsite and we killed the microsite. So our technical, the technical side, we, we've got a board in fact in, in the office where we put post-it notes of legacy systems that we have killed. So it's like a wanted board. I'll, I can send you a picture if you like. And, and when we get to that point, we, we enjoy putting some stuff that has held the museum back um, on that stuff, but on that board. But the problem with it is a curator somewhere, uh, well, a content manager, uh, lots of people, probably partners, all sorts of people basically put a lot of effort into that microsite and it made it. And at the time, it was a beautiful thing. And, you know, and, and, it, and, it, and for three, six months when the exhibition was on, it, it, it shone like a star. And emotionally, people don't like to see their stuff thrown away or seemingly thrown away. I mean, the content's not thrown away. The images, shots are not thrown away. But the technology underneath the bonnet, I'm sure there are developers who thought the same, but it's Flash. You know, Flash is just dead, basically, and it's been dead for two or three years. Um, so obviously, we don't develop in Flash anymore. But we're not going to support Flash either. You know, we're not going to spend time supporting something that nobody's use it. nobody can use on an iPhone. Nobody can use on quite a lot of phones. So. It's just madness to support that when we could be making our existing stuff future-proof, basically. So, but it's emotionally difficult.